Well, in developing tonight at 5, refugees are arriving in Colorado. Most have no place to go. Charitable groups are doing what they can to help out. And the city of Denver is making plans in case more people arrive. Our Rick Salinger live tonight. Rick, what have you learned about the situation right now? Well, Jim, a group from Venezuela showed up on the doorstep here at the Red Cross recently. No one knew they were coming, and they claimed they were given the address here by agents with the Border Patrol. These refugees from Venezuela said they arrived in Denver with only an address. It turned out to be the Red Cross office, which had no idea they were coming. Ahí fue donde nos dieron la dirección. Duele Gonzalez told the Associated Press the Border Patrol gave them the address that turned out to be the local Red Cross. Immigrant aid agencies were contacted and helped them find a place to live. These refugees who came from the southern border are not alone. Jennifer Piper with the American Friends Service Committee says some 200 people from Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua have arrived in Colorado in the past three months. The people we're housing don't know anyone in the United States. They're coming because they're fleeing repression um, and violence in their country. The Denver Office of Emergency Management is planning for more. It has delivered 100 cots, 200 blankets, 200 hygiene kits, cell phones and computers for nonprofits to set up a 72-hour shelter if needed. Border Patrol promised that if they arrived at a, a shelter or a nonprofit that they would be provided housing and food and support. Gracias a Dios. They are receiving it, but it came in a roundabout way. Colorado has not received busloads of immigrants like some states that have sent by some southern governors. But the city of Denver is getting ready and hopes to have a shelter all set to go sometime in the next week or so. Live in Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.